Do you remember Jamboard? The almost essential part of Google Meet that everyone uses for their Google Meet meetings? Unfortunately, it was discontinued on December 31st, 2024, which means that users are no longer able to create or edit Jams or use the Jamboard app. However, do not worry as there's another brilliant alternative. In today's video, I show you exactly how to use Miro, the alternative to Jamboard so you can brainstorm, plan and collaborate like a pro without missing a beat. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. So once you have entered your Google Meet meeting, under your interface, click on the meeting tools icon on the bottom right. You can see the option Miro here. If it has not been installed, you can click on it to install it. Once you have successfully installed your Miro add-ons, click on it. Here you have the option to create a bot without registration or you can sign in to Miro to choose a bot. You have the option to sign in to Miro with Google. So the advantage of signing in to Miro using your Google account is such that it saves all your Miro bots and that you can use them in future meetings. So once you have successfully entered Miro and signed in with your Google account, you can click on new bot. So I'll title this bot sales meeting. And then you have the option for all visitors to edit or they can only view it or they require access. So since I want everyone to be able to contribute their ideas and share their ideas on this Miro bot, I will allow everyone to be able to edit. Click on embed bot. So once Miro has loaded, you can see that the interface is very similar to the previous Jamboard that you have used. So you have options like templates, sticky notes, text that you can enter here, or you can use a pen to do scribblings. So right now I'm going to use the pen and scribble some stuff. And then I can share this screen with everyone else in the meeting. Click on allow. So now your Miro bot is shared to everyone else in the Google Meet meeting, which is good because then everyone be able to see what you scribble on your Miro bot. So once you're done sharing, you can tap on stop sharing. So once you're done with using Miro, you can click on end activity. And then it brings you back to your main Google Meet interface. I hope today's video was easy to understand. And if you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye-bye.